Happy Pride Month, people of the internet. No, I am not dead, just pissed off beyond all human comprehension. People have recently been making a lot of digs at the word queer, claiming it has no place in LGBT politics, and that it is nothing more than a slur. But that's just not true. Let's get into why the word queer has a complex and pivotal place in our history that cannot be denied. The word queer itself has a complex history. With a literal meaning of unusual, strange, or odd, people used queer as a pejorative towards members of the LGBT community in the late 19th century. It was specifically used for men who acted effeminate. Many gay and bisexual people would try to reclaim the term on a personal level at the time with minimal success. However, starting in the 1970s, members of the LGBT community began reclaiming the word en masse and collectively. Many of you will remember the term, we're here, we're queer, get used to it. People who are questioning their sexuality, people whose identities did not yet have a label like pansexuals or non-binary people, and people who rejected mainstream labels of identity altogether were the primary users of the word, though many lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and transgender folks would adopt the term either in solidarity or because of a personal connection to the word, feeling that it reflected their identity more accurately. Even before the Stonewall Riots, chants of people who demanded queer liberation could be heard echoing across the country as people rose up to defend their lives, their loved ones, and their homes. Unfortunately, as the LGBT rights movement marched on, so would tragedy. The AIDS crisis of the 1980s took an indescribable toll on our communities, the highest since the destruction of the libraries of the German University of Sexual Wissenschaft by the Nazis in World War II and the subsequent slaughter of gay, bi, trans, and lesbian Europeans. The fight for equality still marches on to this day. Queer theory and queer studies are actual branches of academic study centered on queer and LGBT impact on society, the sociology of our communities, and the need to fight for equality even now. Mills College, Brown University, Denison, Hampshire, Wesleyan, and Brandeis all have academic departments dedicated to queer studies and under the name Queer Studies. The Committee for LGBT History literally has an annual queer history conference. The proliferation of the word queer into a self-identifying term is a massive fucking part of our history. Just ask Queer Nation, established in the 90s as a result of queer folks' need to organize more effectively. There is an ongoing debate in the LGBT community that queer people want to replace the acronym with queer as an umbrella term. But I would like to state that that's just turf nonsense. Queer people do not want to replace the LGBT acronym, we want to be included in it. I want to address that there are LGBT people who don't feel comfortable using the word queer because like gay, lesbo, dyke, and several other self-identifiers have been used as an insult. And that's fine. If you have trauma or an unhealthy background with the word queer, no one is going to pressure you to use it if you don't feel that word fits you. But if you're going to equate queer with the n-word or use the queer word is a slur, you should probably recognize that exact technique is used by radfems, turfs, swerfs, transmeds, and other faux-gressives to deny trans women access to women's spaces, to isolate and abuse non-binary people, and to discriminate against asexual and pansexual people alike. 
Saying I don't identify as queer because I don't feel comfortable with the word is all well and good, but to deny the role that queer people played in our history is to piss on the graves of Marsha Johnson, Sylvia Rivera, and all those who died for our rights. Our mission is not to erase personal identity. It's the same goal as the rest of the rainbow seems to want. Basic human rights. Watch Paris is Burning. Read Kathy Cohen's Punks, Bulldaggers, and Queens, The Radical Potential of Queer Politics. Go to a queer theory lecture. Hell, just subscribe to Them Magazine. But educate yourself on LGBT history before you come for me and mine. We are not dishonest homophobes. We are not bigots, and we are not divisionists trying to erase personal identity. We're just trying to live our lives. Hey everybody, End Card Patrick Hart here. Sorry it's been a while since I've posted. I've been going through some difficult personal stuff. A couple of medical emergencies, uh, an emergency surgery at one point, and some other personal health problems that have been interfering with my capacity to create content. I just needed a couple of weeks to unwind and get back into the swing of things. Happy Pride Month to all my queer and LGBT plus individuals out there, including you ace people. You guys are a part of the community just like the rest of us. If you like me and what I do, hit that subscribe button down below. Get notified when get notified when I post more content by hitting the bell, or you can hit that like button and leave a comment to let me know how you felt about this video and the contents therein. I also have a Medium account now, so I'll be posting articles on opinion pieces, current events, and politics over there whenever I get the chance. Special thanks to my patrons Danny Autumns, Leo Convoy, Darlene Pineda, Kimmy, Wolf Amaril, Kaori, Left for Cake, Chris Wright, Ryan Van Schock, Rome Imasi, Your Best Wren, Kat Bryant, Nichschwert, Tom Skettit, Elise Walker, Augusta Glass, Happy Red Pony, Matt Stutzman, Delta Zerua, Dragon Trainer, John Woolhouse, Kelly Courtney, Brioche, Chyler B, Brittany Raider, Errol Fazlio, Cliff Dixon, Stefan Lopez, Volgenhorn, and Lauren Dennis. You guys are why I'm able to keep making these videos and pay my bills and feed my cats. If you want to join that list of awesome people, link to my Patreon down there with all the links to my social media. Check it out. Maybe you'll get something cool out of it. See you guys next video, and I hope you have an awesome Pride Month.